Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chelsea Smith. Today I'm going to walk you through some of my New Year's goals. The reason I'm not calling these resolutions is because I feel like when you write down 100 resolutions on a page, they just get lost. But I feel like a commitment to a goal is so different from a resolution. Let me start with the framework. So first off, I am going to be going through each of these goals with you. I feel like accountability is so important. For me, I live alone, so it's easy to just slip things under the rug and nobody else knows about it. For, but this, I'm gonna get people on my team, friends involved, I'm going to do drastic measures to make sure that these dreams come true. I may or may not reach these goals, but I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. So let's get started. Goal number one, get shredded. Okay, now this may be kind of a dumb goal to some people. They're like, I just wanna be healthy, I just wanna lose, like, I just wanna eat healthier, I just wanna do this, do that. I have done that. I lost 60 pounds, okay? I'm not bragging, I literally just, I did the whole like eat healthier, exercise more more often, and it does work. It works to get you from large to healthier. But to get from healthier to shredded, you have to do a whole nother host of things. Like you really can't just be like, I'm gonna start eating even healthier. Like, I eat pretty healthy. I mean, besides the occasional like, you know, cookie? Glass of wine? I honestly like don't have anything in my house that's bad. So anyway, so goal number one is get to 145. For my body type and my height, I think that's a great goal. Goal number two is get out of debt. So this crazy thing happens when you go from being in finance where you're teaching people about how to save and you know manage their money to this person where most of your money is commissioned, so you're just like, I might not have a paycheck next month. That's how I am right now. So it was really tempting to just put things on credit and be like, well, I might get this big thing next month, so why don't I just put it on credit now? Well, you know what, that doesn't work. If you have any credit cards, cut them up now. Cut them up with me. I wanna be completely out of debt. I have a huge advantage, which is that I don't have student loans. I feel so terrible for all of my friends that have 60, 70, 80 grand in debt because of their student loans. And I was very, very fortunate and I'm very thankful to not have that burden, but I have got myself into a little pickle this year with not knowing whether or not I will have money to eat the next month or not. Goal number three, I want to build up my client base with my personal business, Urban Bay, which is creating content for small businesses. I wanna build that up to 10 clients. I don't care if they're small clients, big clients, long-standing clients. I just want 10 clients that I have kind of on retainer um, so that I really feel like I can move to the next level with where I live and feel confident that I will be getting um, a good solid income coming in. I think that's really important. So I'm really excited to kick off the new year and I'm obviously not going to be telling you too much about my clients because it's personal information, it's confidential, but I will be updating you on whether or not I uh, put myself out there at a networking event and get connected. Goal number four, I wanna go on one hike a month. I know that sounds simple to a lot of people, but we're just so busy going out and having all this fun all the time that it's hard, we never get out there. Yes, there's traffic going out to the gorge. The gorge blew up this year, which was really, really sad. It's just something I really regret about this year. There, Even if it's the hike from downtown to Pitock Mansion, like I am going to hike once a month. Goal number five, I wanna stay at the beach house four times. It's a free place to stay, it's so relaxing. I really need to read more and sometimes I just need like a quiet place to do it and so I feel like going to the beach house, even just for myself for the day, one night in the middle of the week, taking a sick day, whatever it needs to be, I really wanna get out there. It's this awesome thing that my great grandparents left to us and I feel like I'm not taking advantage of it and I really want to. Goal number five, I want to get rid of 75% of my clothes. That seems outrageous and obviously I'm not gonna go crazy if it's something I need and use, I'm going to keep it. But I really want to get rid of as much as I can and just simplify. If you wanna see my online garage sale, you can click here and everything is still up for sale. I will post and link below the stuff that's sold, but as of now, you are probably one of the first to see. So check out the online garage sale right here. Goal number six, some of you probably read a lot. I read kind of bits and snippets all over the place, on my phone, at work, but it's really been hard for me this year, especially with working around the clock instead of just set hours. It's hard for me to pick up a book and just sit down and read and focus. Um, my goal is to read one book a month. That may seem so simple to some of you, but for me, like, 
I, I need an actual reachable goal. <clears throat> and hopefully at the end of every month, I can recap the book for you here on YouTube and give you a review. And that'll also give me something to look forward to because I love engaging with people online and seeing you know, what other people thought of something. Goal number seven, I wanna release 12 pieces of content that I feel are my best work. Last year, I did the Get A New Do, you can watch it here which was my first time ever producing a music video. It obviously isn't perfect. For those of you who think it was roasting Logan Paul in a bad way, I'm so sorry. I am definitely in the low gang and I am definitely a maverick. So like, don't, if we're just trying to have fun, like don't get your panties in a wad over like my parody, okay? Like people were like, ah, unsubscribe from this shit. I'm like, dude, we're like, I am a maverick. And this is a maverick move. I don't dance, I make maverick moves. I want to make one piece of legitimately amazing film. It doesn't have to be a music video, but I wanna make something that's just like remarkable, amazing piece of artwork for my resume, for my portfolio, something amazing in video every single month. So this is not really gonna be like the vlogs and the funny videos, but I'm talking like art. I'm talking something that involves a lot of thinking, a lot of processing, planning, um, pretty much everything that that first video, which you can watch here, had in it, except for um, maybe not as comedic. I wanna start doing some more serious stuff so that it can go into my um, portfolio. Goal number eight is really a touchy subject for me. I spent a lot of time this year trying to be somebody else on my social media. I finally figured it out in like October like, oh, this is exactly like the look I want. This is what I want to post. This is what I want to do. This is the kind of way I want to use this tool. But for a while, I was starting to blog. I was just looking at other people and I was like, why doesn't my stuff look like this? Why doesn't my stuff look like that? How come I'm not getting followers? How, how come I'm not getting this? And I was just so focused on like barfing content out that wasn't even good and trying to copy other people and trying to say, well, I want it to look like this instead of just like really getting involved in like, what do I think is beautiful art? So for me, I've turned kind of the lifestyle blog thing into more of like a style diary where I'm just like, oh, this is like, this is what I'm wearing and this is what I'm doing. More like what Instagram started as. And I feel like it's just taken a weight off of me to say, okay, I don't need to take this with a real nice camera. I don't need to like go out of my way to have like Trevor take pictures of me everywhere with a nice camera. Like I can just take an iPhone pick and like spice it up a little bit to have my brand and then like bada boom, bada bing. But I do want to really like excel on social media because I want to do social media for other people. And I feel like it's really hard to like like when I see people that are trying to be like business consultants and they haven't built their own business, I'm kind of like, how do you know that your stuff is right if you, if you haven't done it? The followers thing, man, getting followers is not easy. And like, I felt like I freaking listened to a hundred podcasts on how to do it. And it was just like such a slow climb that finally I just said like, I need to just focus on content and create good content. But anyway, back to the goal. I really want to excel and reach at least 10,000 followers. I know that sounds like it's not that big in the influencer game, but I wanna get 10,000 followers just because, like, I think that there's a lot of leverage that you can use to excel at other things. So like, let's say you wanna start an earring brand. Like, now you have your own personal followers and influence so that you can start that brand. So it's not about like being insta-famous and it's definitely not about being like given free stuff. Like, I don't expect free stuff. I mean, like, I got a couple cool things when I was like trying to be a blogger, but it's just not really what I want my like brand to be. It's more about like building influence for my projects, which a lot of them are obviously video right now. So goal number nine, I want to write a book. As much as I love reading non-fictional books that are like how-tos and I think it's great when people write, you know, weight loss books and that kind of thing, I actually just want to write a novel. I've written like probably 10 half-done novels where they're like, I just didn't have the whole picture together and of course my grandma thinks it's great because like she thinks everything I do is great, but I don't need to like publish my book. I just want to write it and get it like by 2018, December 31st, have that thing like ready to give to somebody to just edit. So goal number 10 is monetary. 
and I don't know if I want to say exactly how much I want to make. My boyfriend thinks that it should be more of like other career goals that I achieve and not about the money. And a lot of people say not to chase the money, but like I have like this way of like if I need a certain amount of money, I like figure it out and I make it happen and I somehow make that money. So I feel like if I had like a specific monetary goal, it would just be like a really good push for me to say like, oh, I need to get to that goal, I need to get that goal. And think of it more as like a big project. So um, I have made money like all over the map. Like I've made a little money, I've made a lot of money, I've made like money and spent a lot, and I've made some money and saved a lot. It's like all over the map. But this year I wanna make $100,000. So that seems like a lot, <laughs> but if I just get a couple clients wrapped up under my belt, I think I can do it and um, I'm ready to work hard like I'm ready for this year to be more militant I feel like this whole like I feel like 2017 was so lackadaisical like I was just kind of like barfing out content like randomly doing things and then like you know just whirling into nothingness like I want a strategic plan of how to get myself from zero to a hundred thousand dollars in one year when I've never made that before. If you haven't subscribed, please just smack that button down below. I really want to grow my following. I wanna share my story with you and it would help me for you to get notifications and subscribe to my channel. It'd be super awesome and I really appreciate it. I'm excited for you to see my journey as I go through these 10 different hurdles this year um, that I'm committed to and I really wanna make them happen. So instead of resolutions, like cheers to your 2018 goals and I hope that you can learn something from my ups and downs and whoops and successes and everything and I hope that you stay along for the journey so thanks for watching see you later guys